Alrighty guys, just sit tight for me. So we're gonna, when we do come into this dock, and it's safe to make your way off, but we're safely tied up. You'll make your way down the stairs and I'll be back with the door for this one. See this one here? You see the basketball court up on that boat? I just want to point that out. We got a cruise ship over here. See that? That's Fort Everglade over there, Fort Lauderdale. All right, this one here, 375 feet long or something like that, or 355. How much did the cost? I think it was. I'm not sure. I think it was four or five hundred million dollars. It's six stories. I think that the, the captain is way up at the top. And you have one, two, three, four, five, six story boat, private boat. See that there? 55 feet long, high. So they only have to open that up when something is over 55 feet high. Don't cost nothing, they open it every half hour. You just have to call ahead and let them know. All right, so right behind us we got Fort Everglades. So currently we're the third division port in the world for cruise ships. Just behind Miami and Cape Canaveral. So the, but as you see over here, it's all construction going on. Cruise ship now, it's called down. Liberty Seas. So they don't have a Disney cruise line in here as well. So what we'll do is, like the, uh, we'll listen to the guy here the at the same time. And if there's anything, I'll let you guys, I'll chime in once in a while. See the big boat, see the side of the boat over there where it opens up. That's where they can put in a lot of the stuff comes in, uh, food and stuff like that. Nobody buys that from the store. Chances are they came out of the Fort Lauderdale port. Yeah, yeah, we got that. So what we're doing, so this is our stop floor. This is where we spin around, we start heading back north. Then we will hit our two beach stops, stops number five and six. And then after six, we'll continue our way up to seven, eight, nine, ten. Another 30 days. And they can keep that process going on and on. Rent free limit right here in Fort Lauderdale. And then the only one the Coast Guard does and ask those boats to move, they're just checking to see if uh, those boats have been ditched or abandoned. Because when that's the case, they get this huge orange sticker. Slap it right on the side of that boat. And then anybody can claim one of these boats here for free. Pick up a free boat right here. What if you know what boat stands for? Bust out another thousand. Yeah. That boat's going to cost you quite a bit of money because I'm sure it needs tons of work. So this is our whistle stop. So this is a, kind of an iffy stop because when it is a high tide, these boats have to push these in the front that we ran into the docks. They're up, they go above this dock. You know, we have our features are on our reef out here, but it's not very common. There's a cat box out there. So then when we did cross that body of water, that would be a place that works for us to do This is where we find all the doctors, the lawyers, the kind of water test cabinets. That's how they sound. These properties are right here, two to three feet. And then if you saw that giant mermaid statue, all the hanging up pool right there. Does anybody know why those uh, mermaids are sea shells? Because the sea shells are too big, the sea shells are too small, the sea shells are good, but... Do they know how to wash those shells? 
where you see all of these uh, mangrove trees that surround this little island. It sits on quite a few acres. It goes all the way up to the beach. There's a huge house right in the middle of the property. And uh, that property was once owned by the Bartlett Bannon. And uh, that couple, they were both artists. That's how they were making their money. Of course, Fort Lauderdale was so popular. They didn't have any kids or any grandkids. So uh, eventually when Mr. Bartlett passed away, Ms. Bartlett, she's having a little bit of a tough time keeping up with the expensive property taxes just because Fort Lauderdale was getting so popular and everybody wanted to be down here. So she had a great idea. She went to the city and said, here's a way to property taxes for the remainder of my life. I'll go and use everything. The house, all the land, artwork. He said, how old did you say you were again? He was up 75 years old. He didn't take that long. They're like, all right, you got yourself a deal. But then for that property, they ended up waiting, waiting, and waiting. She lived to be 109 years old. Wow. About $30 million on property taxes. Uh, so those are, uh, those are the vultures. Uh, you'll see, they'll circle around the outfit and just like feed off of the And they're usually like lost crazy and they go to the papers as well. But yeah, no, that's, just, if you did want to check out the bottom house, you can show your water taxi ticket. And now uh, you can save a couple of bucks there. This is a cool property. Yeah. And if you guys can just sit tight for me and hang out, just be on the captain. Coming into our stop number seven, Gallery Mall and Double Tree Hotel. Look at the. Oh, see how it lights up. What does it say? Yeah. So as you guys can see, the sun's coming down. So we'll just keep bringing you guys along for the ride, heading up to our stop. I think we're at stop number nine, number 10, something like that. And they have the whole battery for that. So that first area, that was the sunrise area. There's one of our smaller then over here in this area, there's another one of those uh, bringing in our squatters. They can hang out there for 30 days, go start afternoon, just drop back five feet. So all these boats here, they can just come in here and stop. They're allowed to be there for 30 days if they want. All these boats here. Nothing they can do about it. Isn't that something? So if you're coming in off the ocean, heading somewhere, you can always come in here, park there, and
Thorpe in Norfolk, Virginia. By not never having to go through the ocean. Okay, right down here across the waterway. Maybe you want to go south through Miami, around the head to Florida, into Texas. Not ever going to the ocean. It's going to take you a long trip. It's called the no wake zones, but it is possible. This side over here at the King Tiller Bird State Park. Pretty neat park to check out. So this park is 180 acres. Donated to the state of Florida by King Tiller Bird. He was down here in the early 1900s with Henry Fiber. Buying up all this land here on the Berry Island. So this is all like swamp and marshland over here. Nobody really wanted this property. It was sustainable for farming. But everyone was always thinking it was crazy for buying up all this land. So he was getting quite the deal. He was getting each acre for sale between one and four dollars an acre. And so he bought from here, there's 180 acres, all the way down to like that Mount Phillips Bridge. Sold off all that land. And then just this part had 180 acres. He donated it to the state of Florida. Just under the condition of the contract, that they wouldn't build on. If you didn't want to call it hobby, for these neighbors that, we have the Chick-fil-A headquarters right here. Or Target Army, whatever you want to call it. But actually, when they are in town, they can have all these flags there, but there's tons of artwork there that go out. These little people that are actually in there. And then you'll see that top story, that third floor. So with that, you can see over the tree line here at the state park. And that's actually called an Ocean View property. Can you believe that? Ocean View, because three stories. That's the owner of Chick-fil-A. So this is a great place. If you want to spend like all afternoon at the beach, and then all the other parts, just because of the interest is very interesting. It's like two blocks of interest. So this is a fire to take off. All day, on our eyes, about that. That's going to be the cheapest part of the park here for an ordinance. And then, like, we can get the fishing off the area. And then some of the fish that they can catch, you have some mango snapper, some jack, hardware, some stuff, and then, you know, all that. And then, you can get all the fish that they can catch, and then, you can get all the fish that they can catch, and then, you can get all the fish that they can catch. I'll bring you guys here along the canal here, the intercoastal, a little evening cruise. Bring you guys along with me here in Fort Lauderdale on the intercoastal. This will be a, like a little evening cruise. Just gonna make a little quick video for you guys with this. You guys can see the sun is going down over here. So the Atlantic Ocean is going to be just over here. These places here are along the ocean, the Atlantic Ocean. So you can see those beautiful condos right over here. Yeah, a beautiful house right here on the corner.
flavor of jobs that we have for as well. And the most recent one, Adam Sandler, we went up next time from there during COVID. Loved it so much. So then he ended up buying a penthouse for his parents, put them in the left tower as he was in the right, because he wanted to keep them close, but just not so close. And then coming up here on the right-hand side, so we call this the uh, South Florida version. So See that red boat here? All these places all have pools. See, he's got a pool right here. The pool over there. This one here has a pool. It's probably the people that own them probably have three, four houses, so they only come here once in a while. Nice little cove here, so you can get in here. Look how nice that looks. It's really beautiful. See the sculpture right here of the dolphins in front of this house. Got a little family out here riding with their boat. New construction right here, going up. All right. so this is what we're gonna do. See the waves making this boat here rock part of it. See how it's rocking a lot there. This is what we're gonna do, guys. So these are our next two stops. These are stops nine and ten. <laughs> back down we'll hit our stop number nine that is shooters that's just another nice restaurant a little different of ambiance there we got uh, all the palm trees and umbrellas where you can get dinner and sit down so we'll stop number nine is where we're gonna go we're number gonna go in number nine shooters right here so we're gonna stop right, right at this place here that is an hour and a half ride that's where our truck is and then you can pop off and eat all right, don't forget, guys, like and subscribe and share. Do all that stuff. Okay, see you guys next one.